welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it so very much. Today is my insane November haul. This does not include my Black Friday haul. I am still waiting for some packages. Some of them haven't even shipped yet from Cyber Monday, Black Friday. I'm waiting for several of those still. So I will film that as soon as I can, but that's probably gonna go up mid month at the earliest. Um, and it doesn't include my perfumes. I already have done two perfume hauls in the month of November because they were just so long. I cut it into half. And I know I said I wasn't gonna buy any more perfumes, but I totally lied. Well, I didn't lie. I meant to not buy any more, but then I found this guy and I had to get it. So this is the Moschino Gold um, Fresh Couture, whatever. It has like, I don't even know what the name is, but it's the gold one. This is what it looks like. So you do, this set I got at TJ Maxx. It was $59.99, which is a good deal because you got the 3.4 ounce. You got the body wash and the body um, the lotion. And then this cute little um, thing. Like it's a little wallet, which is pretty cute. And I do love Machino. I love their packaging. Like it's always just so cute. And I have the pink and I have the blue. And I think the pink is in this side, but my blue one, the original one, is just a small one. I don't even know what this smells like. Oh, it smells okay. Um, it has a bit of a spice to it, so it's a more spicy scent. But these are all supposed to be like a unisex fragrance. And I really do think, well, not the pink one. The pink one is very sweet and like... I would say it's very scented, a very fruity scent, but this one definitely, and the blue one are definitely, I would say, uh, unisex scents. So I picked up that, and then because I've been going through stuff so fast, I picked up a couple Body Shop Body Butters. I also got these at TJ Maxx. They were $6.99 each. I got the scent Berry Bon Bon. Oh, and that smells so good. I love their body butters. I've already gone through, I bought some in September and I'm already like gone through one and a half of them. And then I got vanilla chai. I guess that was upside down. And this one is like a vanilla, but it that chai does like temper it a little bit. So it's not quite as sweet of a scent as a plain vanilla. Then I found this set and I was super excited. This is the Toka set. You have four hand creams in there, Cleopatra, Stella, Florence, and Gioletta. And this was $12.99, which is kind of expensive, like for TJ Maxx, I feel. But I think Toka has pretty expensive hand creams. And I do, I go through their hand creams. Like I've had several of them over the years that I got as like samples and stuff. So I'm glad to have gotten more of those for a reasonable price because they, they are really expensive. I got a ton of stuff for TJ Maxx. Next one is Becca. This is one of their blushes and this is in the shade Tiger Lily. They had a couple of these there when I went and that's what it looks like. I was really excited. These are their luminous blushes. This was $7.99. I keep looking at the packaging so that I can remember. And that's what it looks like. I was surprised to find Becca blushes for that inexpensive at TJ Maxx. Then I picked up some highlighters. These are both from, I got two from Laura Geller. This one was $6.99 and you do have three shades in here. The three shades, does it say inside? Yes, it does. Cause I was trying to figure out what they were. So you have Opal Haze, Champagne Toast and Moon Dust. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any of these. I really like the Laura Geller highlighters that I have. Wow, oh my gosh. So for $6.99, I thought, oh my gosh, that opal, like look at that shift that it has. Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm really excited to play with those. I'm going to clean off my swatches and I'll be right back. All right, so this was the second one I got. This was also $6.99. This does have three shades in it again. It has Champagne Toast, so there is an overlap there. Starstruck and Golden Gleam. And I will swatch those. The Golden Gleam might be better for my eyes, but that pink one in the middle, oh my gosh, so pretty. For $6.99, like, I feel like that was a pretty darn good deal and not 
something that I would be able to pick up because I know Laura Geller I don't think is available at Ulta anymore. I know there's some stuff going on like with bankruptcy with the parent company and stuff. So hopefully they'll come back and they'll still produce because they have some really nice products. Then I picked up this from Japanesque. This is just a toenail clipper, but it was, it looks pretty nice. I'm not going to try to open it because it's all taped up, but $2.99 for that. Then I picked up a Sweethearts blush from Too Faced and I was very excited to see this. I had one of these before and I was very sad because it was too dark and I ended up passing it along, but this one looked much more my shade and this was, oh, I just threw the package over there. I don't remember how much it was, but there it is, that blush right there. So it's a nice light shade, which is exactly perfect for um, my skin tone. Let me so grab that one was a little bit more. It was $10.99. So I almost forgot to add this guy in. This I also picked up. This was $7.99 at TJ Maxx. This is the Pro HD Amplified Palette. It is a whole bunch of blushes and bronzers and highlighters. I'm not going to swatch all of them because there's a lot of them, but I'll swatch some of them just random. I haven't even tried the bronzer to be honest. They're really pretty. The highlighters are really intense. That is the one thing that I will say for it. Um, but I, I had fun. I took it with me on Thanksgiving break and I got a lot of fun looks out of it. I don't know if it's an everyday palette. I think it's more, you know, if you want something really that's going to stand out or if you want to mix it with other things. I want to stick to just it on a daily basis for work. And then the last thing I picked up was actually a Marshalls and this is the Natural Lust Bronzer from Too Faced, which I had really wanted just because, I'm sorry, this packaging is so gorgeous with that um, peacock and the gold ugh, and the inside is incredible as well. I'm not going to swatch it because I totally just bought this for a piece of art because it's so beautiful. Anyway, it was $12.99, which I could justify spending for a thing that I wouldn't probably use versus like, you know, 36, which I think it was originally. All right, moving on to Sephora. I wasn't going to buy anything else from Sephora during the sale. And then I did. Um, so you saw my mini haul. I didn't get like a ton more, but I did pick up a few things. One thing that I picked up was this Charlotte Tilbury set. I had really wanted this and then I heard that they were, they could fall out easily and I made, that made me really nervous. And then my friend Patricia, Finding Your Tiara, did a video on them and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get them. So you do get three minis. They are very small, very small. And the shades you get are JK Magic, which is a very neutral nude shade which is named after J.K. Rowling, um, which is pretty cool as a Harry Potter fan. Then we have Very Vergara, which is seems like it would be a more um, intimidating scent, shade, not scent, oh my gosh. But it's actually really nice. I like all of these. I feel like they're really wearable um, shades. And then Amazing Amal, and I've been wearing them, so I've actually had pretty good luck with all, well, I haven't worn the JK Magic yet, but the other two I've really liked actually. So that set was 25. I did get the 20% off because otherwise it would be too expensive. Then I also bought another lip set, the Sephora favorite set. This was on sale for $25. It, it wasn't it with the additional 20% off, but I had wanted this. It was 42, went down to 25. And the one thing in here that I really wanted is normally it retails full size and it is a full size for 34. So when I could get it cheaper than that, I was like, yes, I'm going to do it. So you get four lippies over here. This first one, this is what I bought the set for. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution in Very Victoria. And it's a very nice kind of brown shade, but it has enough pink in it that I don't feel like it wipes me out like a lot of browns do and I love her formula like her lipsticks are so good and then you have this Sephora um what is this called we're gonna grab the back of the box to look at really fast this is a cream lipstick stain in 96 red velvet I'm going to put this in a future giveaway pass along kind of thing because 
I don't need any more red lipsticks. I just did a red lipstick video that's coming up and I have a lot of them. Then we have from Fenty, this is the shade Flamingo Acid and that's what it looks like. I'm going to swatch this one. I have another one. Oh my gosh. These have so much pigment to them. They're incredible. I really like that. That's very nice. And then the last one in here is a mini. Whoops. And it is Sex on the Peach, which is the Too Faced collection. It even has the little peaches on it. I think this is going to be too brownie for me. So I'm going to, instead of swatching it, I'm going to just pass that one along as well. Like I said, I got this set for the Charlotte Tilbury, which was more expensive to buy by itself than the whole set. So I'm going to be passing some of these along. Then we have over here, we have four things. And this first one I'm definitely going to keep. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask, the original. This is just a small size, but it will last you a good long time. I really love that. I use it pretty much every night. Then I have this Kush Lip Balm. And because I have so many reactions to different things, I'm not going to do that because I have very sensitive lips and I'm kind of nervous um, about what's it, some of the ingredients in that um, product. I don't like the fresh lip balms. This is the shade Rose. So I'm going to pass that one along. I know I have friends who will really like that. And then this one I haven't tried. This is Ink Redible, Incredible Rollerball Gloss. This reminds me of the 90s so much. Oh my gosh. And it's supposed to be clear. It doesn't really have a set. It's, it's, it is really super clear. Like there's nothing. I feel like this would be a good thing to prep my lips in the morning because I use things like this. So I'm going to keep that one. That is a full size as well. All right, well. finishing out Sephora. I got a couple lip or just regular masks because I was trying to get up to the free gift. So I picked up the Machino Honey Bear and then the Pineapple. I haven't tried either of these, so I was excited to try those. I do like sheet masks. I don't need sheet masks, but I really wanted this guy. This was the gift that you could get. This is Chloe Love Story. It's just the mini and it's just so darling. I just wanted the little tiny bottle that says Love Story on it because I do collect miniature perfumes and that's a good way to get them. I did get two samples of perfumes that I'm actually excited about, Nomad and Alien. I um, have Nomad coming as a Christmas present um, for my parents and I do love Alien. So I will pass these along as well, but they're both really good samples. So I'm glad about that. If you're here honking, it's because I'm filming during our championship game and the game starts in about an hour. So traffic is picking up and people get excited. All right, we have then this one. This is the Nudes um, by Huda Beauty. This is the medium palette. I got the light palette. I have been loving it. I've worn it so much. And so I was like, you know what? I really want that medium too. I want the rich as well, but you know, one palette at a time. So we're gonna swatch all of them. Oh, so pretty, that's the bottom row. Her formula is always so good. I love the mattes. I love her um, foils. Like she has the best foils. I mean, Natasha Denona's are pretty awesome too. I'm wearing that on my eyes today um, mixed with a MAC palette. And then last three, so you can see them all. There they all are. This one swatched funky, but I think that's because I swatched over my knuckles like an idiot. idiot. Um, so that's what it looks like. I'm really excited to start playing with this, especially because it's like the perfect time of year to do that because, you know, school's ending so I can experiment, figure out some good looks over the break and then have something really fun and exciting for my daily routine. All right, last thing I got is the Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. I decided to get this because I did not get off the waiting list for Boxy Charm Premium. I decided to just say screw it to Boxy Premium. So I bought the one thing I wanted when it was on sale. And the one thing that's coming up in January, I bought that one as well. Because, you know, I don't want to play their games and try to figure out 
how to get on their list and get a whole, then get a whole bunch of stuff I don't really want. So there are two creams and two powders. Um, the one you're not gonna see very much at all. <laughs> this one right here, that's the cream. These, this blush topper and blush um, or highlighter are really incredible. This does like blend out, which is good. You do wanna be careful about it. Like I, I've worked on it. I do have a 444 coming up that I talk about my experiences with this palette. So look for that. The last thing I got was another gift and this is the shade Star Woman from NARS. I think I got this from, it could, I could have gotten it from Ulta too, but this is a red as well and I am going to pass that one along too. All right, the next thing I got was something I had been interested in. I had seen Mel Thompson do a review on them and I was like, I really want them and they were sold out and they were kind of expensive. So when they were going to restock, I actually got on the waiting list and pre-ordered them. It is the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I am wearing one of them on my lips today. I This is how they came. They came in this box. It, they were packed really beautifully as well. And then inside you have the three of them. They're all nicely wrapped up. So before I start on those, I want to show you the case. So you could buy them separately or for like a couple pounds more, you could get the little case. So I decided to go ahead and get the case. This first one, the one that I'm wearing, is called Skyscraper Rose, and these are just beautiful. Like, I don't know if you can see um, the texture on them, and they have her little signature on them. They're gorgeous, and they have a magnetic closure, and this is what that first one looks like, and of course, I'm wearing it, and then, yep, has that lovely little thing there. This is what the outside packaging looks like. It says Lisa Eldridge, luxuriously lucent lip color. They're, they're, it's just really beautiful and the details that went into it are very nice as well. So here's the second one. I think this was 75 pounds for the three of them, which retail, I don't, I don't know what that translated, 90 something, I think. And I was really, hesitant and then I was like you know what I bought other lipsticks they're not really that much more expensive and there was free shipping so that really helped too this shade is rainbow spill oh my gosh I love it and she has a whole bunch of other ones that are like darkers or more mattes or not more matte um more neutral shades like browns like from the 90s and those aren't really my kind of colors so I decided to you know go back to basics and do my bright pinks that I know I'll wear this is love of my life and this one is not the same matte formula this one is more sheer and that's what it looks like so this will be a really good I think everyday shade to tell you the truth anyway I'm really excited about those I think they are absolutely gorgeous then the next thing that I purchased this month is a whole bunch of stuff. Well, not a whole bunch, but I did go to Bath and Body Works. I wasn't going to, and then I kind of ran out of body wash. I have some, but if you watched, you know that I had put all my stuff in storage and then I lost the key. So I just bought new stuff because I don't want to cut the lock off. I know as soon as I do that, I'll find the key. So I picked these up while they were on sale and I had coupons. I think they were buy two, get two free. And then I had a free um gift with purchase as well so i got one of those too so i got mary cherry cheer winter berry wonder winter candy apple because that's like my favorite scent yep i bought two of them and then the last one was black cherry merlot i just i love I love black cherry Merlot. I'm excited that it's in stuff other than just the hand soap. Right, moving on to Macy's. I did put in a couple orders. I got their lame sample bag again. If you saw my perfume haul, you saw what I got in that one. I got this little Kenneth Cole two-sided thing. I got a philosophy mail insert. This is a little better. This is a Privage anti-aging daily serum, so at least 
I think that's something I can use. And then another Eros um, by Versace. It came with one of these two orders. The first one is this MAC Lipstick Trio. It's a Macy's exclusive. I think it's $22.50 for three full-size lipsticks, which is really good, which is why I bought this set because I had my $5 beauty box coupon with it. So it was $17.50. I do have the Star Rewards program, so there's free shipping always. The first shade is Diva. I did realize I have two of this, so I swatched it in my darks video, but I am gonna pass this along to a friend. That's what it looks like. It's been swatched now twice on my back of my hand. Then, and that's not the reason I bought this set. I got for these. This is Relentlessly Red. Oh, it's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Lisa Eldridge that I just swatched, actually. And then this one is She Sheer. And it's another kind of sheer. I think this would be another really nice everyday shade. But they, those two are kind of similar to what I just bought from Lisa Eldridge, too. But I think they're really pretty. I'm excited about them. And then the other thing I bought from Macy's is the NARS palette. They did two of them. This is the Hyped palette. I looked at the other one and it has those at Sephora and they have the chunky glitters and I was like, you know what? I hate the chunky glitters. I'm never gonna wear them because they're not eye safe and I don't wanna go blind or damage my eye because I wore eyeshadow. The packaging is stunning. There's all these little stars in there. It's so pretty. This one did not have those big like chunky glitters that are so popular with everything now. And it was the pink one. I just think it's so pretty. I love my other NARS palettes that I have. So to get another one was just exciting. We're, I'm going to swatch them all really fast. All right, so this is the palette. And then here are the swatches. I did do these last two over here on the side. So you can kind of see that it's just a nice shimmer. They swatch so nicely. And I really like this palette because I feel like Yes, you have those pops of color, but you could do, like this could be, if you just go on a vacation, you could take just this. You could have some fun looks, but you could also have a lot of nice neutral looks. Like it's a really good versatile palette, which I feel like is unusual for holiday collections. Like, I don't feel like you always get a look for everything, but that could just be me. All right, moving on to Dillard's. I was going to put Ulta in this haul too, but I think I'm going to make it a shorter video and do that separately. Um, so Clinique, I got this Clinique set. My mom bought her eye cream and then I was like, I want to get that set. That's a purchase with purchase. So this was $49. You get a moisture surge, which I love. I use all the time. The hydrating jelly. I it's okay. I don't know. I might pass that along. Clinique, this is a vitamin C, which I have not tried. The All About Eyes, which I love. That's so good. Smart Night Repair Moisturizer. I'm excited to try that. I like this cleanser. The mascara is not my favorite, so I will pass that along. And then a chubby stick, which are my favorite lip balms. And I have been trying to use up other ones. And I just, I really miss my chubby stick, so I'm excited to have another one. Then I got a gift with purchase. Because I'm going to show you my really bougie, like, expensive thing that I got. This is from Dior. This is a pouch. It's really pretty, actually. Um, this is what it looks like. It does say Dior on it. It zips sideways, and then it opens up. Oh, and I do have samples in there. So it's just really nice. It's unusual. It's different than anything else I have. But I feel like I could actually use it. Like, this would be great for brushes, for sure. So I got a Sauvage... Um, men's cologne sample, which of course we'll be passing along. Capture Youth. I really like some of Dior skincare, but it's so expensive. So I'm excited to have gotten some things. And then I got two more things from them. This is a cr cream, two creams. So um, they're just little, they're not giant, but they're just little. This is Capture Total La Creme Multi Perfection. And then this one is. I think I'm looking at it backwards, which happens. This is Dream Skin Care and Perfect. So excited to try those. And then I got a, um, a lash primer, which I don't think I've tried their lash primer. I'm not a big lash primer fan, but it's Dior. I'll probably try it. This is what I got. Um, this was super expensive. 
But then when I like started thinking about how pr the price of it really, I was like, it's not as terrible as I thought it was. So it does have gorgeous packaging. I will be keeping the box because you know, it's Dior. So this is the case that it comes in. And when I was talking to the person at the counter, she said, these are what they carry on the runway, but they have like little handles. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's, it's just gorgeous. So I know I'm a sucker for designer stuff, but to me, this is the most affordable way that I'll ever get a piece from Dior or a piece from any of the house, the different fashion houses, because one, they don't make clothes that are going to fit me. And two, I'm never going to be able to afford them or their handbags. Like I don't have thousands of dollars to spend on a handbag and I wouldn't like if I, even if I had it, I wouldn't spend that. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. It does have a huge mirror, and then it has all of these lipsticks, and then um, one that's really fancy. So they can be replaced, so you take them out, and then they pop in and out, so you can change them for um, which one you want, which is kind of different. This first one, all right, this is 999. There's two 999s. One is a matte and one is not. And so that's the more cream formula, which is the one that comes in the case. And then you can switch them out. These do work outside as well. Then we have this shade, which is 434, which is a nice neutral. Not my favorite, if I'm gonna be honest, it's a little brown. Then we have shade 999 matte. Oh, I love the mattes. Like I just see a matte lipstick and it just makes me so happy, which is probably weird, but whatever. Then we have shade 772 and they do have little strings behind them so that they can come out. I love this shade. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's like such a good nude shade. I like pinky nudes. So if you like more brownie nudes, you probably don't like that shade as well, much. Then we have shade 80, which is another red, which is a little different than 999. Like if you look at them right one on top of each other. And then I think this was my favorite. I feel like there's a real pattern to my favorites this month. This is shade 520 and that's what it looks like. I just love those bright pinks. So this set was $175, which is a lot. And I was like, <gasps> and then I got to thinking, you know, there's six lipsticks. So if you, if you calculate how much the lipsticks are and then the cat case, it ended up being about the same as things that I'd buy at Sephora with other brands. Like, I don't think it was any more expensive than like a Lancome lipstick or um, Marc Jacobs or any of those. So it felt like it was really expensive and luxe, but it really, it wasn't quite as bad as it looked at first glance. I know that sounds like I'm justifying, but I'm so excited about it. It's the first Dior that I've ever purchased. So I think it was a good, I got some beautiful shades in there and that piece that that little bag, which you can take out the lipsticks and you can use it as a clutch. It's just so gorgeous. All right, last bit of this haul is from ColourPop. I do have like three um, ColourPop afterpays going on right now because of Black Friday and this, because I just barely paid off my last one, but it is the Frozen 2 sets, Anna and Elsa. Of course, you knew I had to get these because I am a huge Disney fan and Frozen, when that movie came out, I remember my mom was like, you should take your cousin's kids to it. I was like, what is this movie? I've never even heard of it. And then I was like, oh. and then I was sitting in there, I was going, you know what? It would be awesome if Idina Menzel voiced one of these princesses and then let it go started. And I was like, that's Idina. Like, mm. all right. So this is the Frozen palette. I'm a big musical theater fan too. So that's why I like, I knew names and voices. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty. Um, I am excited to wear eight of these nine colors because that chunky glitter that's in the middle, I am not going to wear. Just not going to wear because I don't want to damage my eyes. I just talked about that like a couple minutes ago. Whoa. 
Oh my gosh, that was so soft. I just totally butchered that. So now I know why every palette that's in store from ColourPop with this glitter um, is trashed because I barely, I like, I went in way too hard on it. That's what they look like. I gotta figure out how to swatch the rest of them. All right, so that's what they look like. The blue is kind of disappointing. I did a second swatch over it and it still isn't showing up too much. It's kind of patchy, but these other seven shades are gorgeous and I'm really excited to use them. Um, the glitter is actually really pretty, but I don't think it would be safe because it's spreading everywhere. I would not put it anywhere near my eyes. So please don't put glitter on All right, eyes. so the other products in here is like this really um, glitter gel, this crazy glitter gel, which I'm not going to swatch because I'm not gonna use it, so I'm just gonna leave it in there and not contaminate it because why would I? Then you have this really pretty lip gloss, which I'm also not going to swatch because I'm not going to wear. I know, I just don't like, I, I just need to quit swatching lip glosses. And then you have a beautiful lipstick. The packaging on this is just stunning. Look at that, oh. And the shade, oh my gosh. Oh. I might have to pick up an extra sh one of those lipsticks because that's so pretty. I love that shade. Um, so that's the set. It was $39 for the set in the box and everything. You can get these at Ulta as well. So here's the Anna set. It is also very pretty. It also has a lip gloss, I think. Yeah, so I'm not going to use the gloss, glossy lips. I like that you can see the pattern a little bit more on it. Then it also has a glitter, oh my gosh, that glitter gel. That's huge, oh, that's, it's really pretty, I just don't, one, I don't know where I would wear it on my body. And two, I find that glitters, sometimes the binding agents will cause bad reactions. I remember as a teen when that was such a like popular thing, glitter everywhere. Yeah, that caused a really terrible reaction and I like had burning on my face and redness. That's what the packaging looks like. It's also really pretty. I like on I, Elsa's lip shade a lot more though. I thought it was gonna, hers is more of a true red when I first saw these sets. So I'm glad that it's a really wearable shade because I thought Anna was gonna be the one that I was gonna reach for. And definitely not with that brown shade. All right, let's pull out the um, palette. It is so darling as well because you know, Anna, I just, I love Frozen. I was so delighted with the first one and I actually really liked the second one as well. We're gonna swatch these. We're gonna be much more careful with the um, glitter in the middle this time because we know how fragile it is. But give me a second. All right, and that's what they all look like swatched. I think these shades showed up much better than the Anna or the Elsa ones, but I have to say I like the Elsa color palette more. I just, there's something about the shades in it that just really are calling to me right now. And it could be that it's just winter and I just feel more of that shades. So as I was continuing to unpack from Thanksgiving, cause it took me a little while, I realized I left off a couple things that I got in November, not related to Black Friday. So the first thing I picked up at Tuesday morning, it just was so cute. And it's just a little soap and soap dish. And then this is the shade, not shade, the scent. I don't even, berry patch. Um, so it's, I, it's it's a very berry scented. It, it comes with a little glass soap dish. It's really cute. Anyway, this was $5.99 at Tuesday morning. I love getting little things at Tuesday morning because they always have interesting things. The other big thing that happened is I went to Lush for the first time. Um, I was it, visiting my aunt and we went to the Disney store because we don't have a Disney store anywhere close. And right next to the Disney store was Lush. And so I actually went in and looked at the stuff and I got a gift set for my aunt and she didn't like it. She didn't like the scent, so she gave it back to me. So I'm excited to try it. And then I picked up a couple things for myself as well. 
So the first thing I got, this was part of the gift set. This is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. It says it has vanilla pod in it as well as the rose. And she just didn't, she didn't like the scent, but I think it smells super good. I'm really excited because it kind of has a rose, but it's like a more sweet rose. So I'm excited for that. And then Rose Argon, this is a body conditioner, which I haven't tried. I haven't tried these at all. I just, it was fun to go in there and smell everything. And I love that they tell you who packed it or who made it and when. And then what I got for myself is I bought two body lotions. Here they are. I bought Once Upon a Time, which is like this amazing apple scent. I really, I smelled it and I was like, I have to get one of those. I foresee myself going through this quite quickly and it is like, this was $10.95 I think for the little ones. So they are expensive. And I know we're supposed to have a Lush somewhere close by where I am, but I just have never gone over there because it's not like anywhere that I normally go on a, in my life usually, but I can go and um, purchase refills. The other one I got was Snowflake and I did get to my aunt the set with Snowflake in it and then it had like an apple soap because we both love the scent of almonds and this is amazing. I'm, I'm really excited to try all of those. Anyway, that is my November haul, some of it. I'm going to cut it off here. I'm going to do a separate haul for my Ulta because I have this huge stack of Ulta right next to me. And I just feel like this video is probably super long as it is. Do make sure you check out my two videos of my perfume haul. And if you are interested in perfume, check out my Ulta haul too, because I got some stuff there as well. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.